Morning, Chasm Country. It's your conservation report for Saturday, June 7th. I'm Nathan Hilla. I'm the Advanced Engineering Technician with the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District. Uh, we are going to start this week off talking about everything. Uh, well, one thing that's on everyone's mind, and that's rain, water. Um, it's evident everywhere. I drove back from the cabin last week and got to Bog Bolas or Little Falls, and I started to notice water in the field. Uh, every field had erosion. Every field had sediment um, on the bottom. I think uh, it's just Mother Nature kind of telling us, you know, some things, we can do some things differently in terms of conservation. A um, few rain totals uh, from last week before I get into some other things. Uh, Holding Township uh, on that weekend uh, had five and a half inches. Crane Township had reports of seven and a half inches. Uh, Main Prairie Township, Southern Stearns County had 5.2 inches. And around that Richmond area was 6.7 inches. St. Augusta at 7.3. St. Cloud Township had 6.2 and Zion had 4. I live south of Albany and had uh, roughly 3.5 inches, so I feel blessed that we got missed a little bit. Um, cutting the lawn even is a challenge for us now, and I, I can't imagine farmers uh, and what they have to deal with now. Uh, it, so those are some, some challenges. I pulled up yesterday on... Line. I just, just out of curiosity, I looked at the uh, storm events, and there are certain storm events that are coincide with different years and intervals. They call things 25 year storms, 50 year storms. Well, I wanted to see at the Discovery Farm that we have here at the uh, Nick and Tara Meyer Farm, they had 4.6 inches in 60 minutes last weekend, and I wanted to see how that would coincide, what kind of year event uh, that would be. And it looks like in 60 minutes, it was a 1,000-year storm event. So uh, the 1,000-year storm event for that location is 4.16 inches, and we are well beyond that uh, with 4.6. So it looks like we're having these greater storm events making a larger impact in a short amount of time on our fields. Uh, we should consider things. There is technical and financial assistance in our office available uh, or things like uh, reduced tillage practices, cover crops, which I'll get to in a little bit, uh, some no-till practices through Equip. So there are opportunities for farmers out there, and there is funding available to help offset some of these costs. Um, right now, looking at our natural capital going down into the waterways and lakes, I think it's important, uh, based on what happened last weekend in the last couple of years, to be a recurring thing here in Stearns County, at least in this area. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's hard. We're getting a lot of phone, phone calls. I had four phone calls uh, this morning uh, just regarding, and it's, it's Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon, regarding uh, erosion problems in the field. You know, friends, neighbors, things that people that I know calling, asking, you know, what, what do we do? What do we do now? Um, one producer I met with earlier this week said he's all of his fertilizers washing down in the Two Rivers Lake, um, which can be a challenge for all of us. Uh, I drove around that area. I'm from that area originally, and uh, yesterday out to a field site. I drove around two rivers. I went. Uh, I first started out going to Avon, and then headed up into the hills behind Pelican Lake to the south of Pelican Lake. Uh, that area looked pretty good. Headed into Holding Fort, and and since I've been a kid, that area has been uh, flooded uh, several several years that I've that I've seen it. Uh, drove around at Tourist Lake, saw extensive erosion all the way around it. Um, such a large watershed going to Two Rivers Lake. Um, also one of my favorite fishing holes, but as I drove into the access to take a picture of the access, I knew what I would see as I drove over the hill, and the whole access was flooded. Um, it came halfway up the parking area, um, and the water was not clean. So the week prior to, we were out there fishing, and it was very clear, nice, clear lake, and now all of a sudden with all the sediment and the the washing um, is pretty brown right now. Uh, drove towards Albany, we saw extensive erosion, a lot of sediment in the ditch. Uh, we drove by the Albany Golf Course, that didn't look real great. Um, a lot of sediment in the actual course itself. The grass looked more black and brown than, than green in some areas. So just something to think about. If we can trap more water on the landscape uh, and hold it back a little bit, there isn't such that, that large flush of water that comes through there. I think that's going to be at the forefront of everybody's mind here. Um, so hopefully producers that are listening don't forget about the practices that are out there. Don't forget about uh, the end of May, beginning of June time here in Stearns County to implement some of these practices come fall. 
So if you need a technical or financial assistance, there may be an opportunity in our office to get that. 320-251-7800, extension 3. And you can ask for Nate. I can certainly help you as well. Um, speaking of fishing, walleye fishing, I just wanted to touch that, touch base at the love of mine. I love the fish. And uh, right now the panfish are spawning, just to give you a little bit of a fishing report with my conservation report this week. Uh, panfish were spawning last week. I did see a lot of panfish being caught. We have been catching a lot of walleyes in the last couple of weeks. Um, things have changed, though. Water temp, since we moved from winter to summer, uh, the drastic change in water temperatures moved the fish around a little bit here in the last week. Uh, we saw that with some storm events. Fishing has been a little bit slower. Uh, we haven't been catching as many, but uh, they, they're out there. Um, to get a chance to wet a line, um, go do that this weekend as well. Uh, I also drove by the Sock River uh, last night, uh, getting back to the rainfall uh, yesterday uh, afternoon, and saw uh, the area just to the south of Albany on County Road 10 heading towards St. Martin. That area down there, again, is all flooded as well. I took some photos. Uh, again, the water's brown, a lot of sediment entering Sock River. So there is money available in our office to help that middle Sock area. Not only just that middle stock, but everybody else in the area. There's there's technical and financial assistance to help people um, reduce the amount of water that's going through the Sock River. You know, there's many areas that are flooded out, uh, fields that haven't been planted, uh, areas that, that have received uh, uh, some gully and real erosion. Uh, gully erosion is where you have a concentrated area of water. Uh, real erosion is more of your small little little gullies. You know, uh, you can kind of see their little lines in your fields as they're going, as the water flows down the hill. Those, that's called real erosion. That seems to be more of a factor this last storm event than the gullies. Uh, but however, when you see areas that did have gully erosion, it was, it was quite extensive. So, I also heard of issues, too, uh, based on the amount of water that's, that's coming in with cities and uh, some sumps. Uh, folks, remember not to put your sumps, if you do live in a city, don't pump your sump into your, into your septic or your sewer. Um, Make sure that's, that's daylighted uh, out into the street, into the storm sewer, because um, systems are being overloaded with water right now. So the less we can deal with water right now, the, the better. Uh, one thing I want to cover from our office, actually two things. The first thing is a cover crop field day for Wednesday, June 11th. Uh, that'll be next Wednesday on the Dan Lye Farm. He is located four miles west of Richmond and one mile east of Roscoe on Highway 23. If you need more information, you can contact Brad Wenz in the uh, Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District office. Again, our number is 320-251-7800, extension 3, and that's Brad Wenz. Uh, the other item I want for, uh, to make note for press release is we have a cooperative meat, meat management grant. The Stearns SWCD is partnering with Candy Ojai County uh, and their SWCD. Uh, for landowners, cities, townships, things that are have, people that are having problems with some of our invasive species, uh, and those species include wild parsnip, leafy spurge, purple loosestrife, spotted napweed, and common tansy. Um, contact the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District if you know of any of these invasive species and noxious weeds that are, that are problems. Um, you can contact Jason Selvog or Megan Herbst in our office. Um, those are the two things uh, going on in our office. And the last thing I wanted to cover for today is the Stearns County Breakfast on the Farm. Uh, for those of you listening to this broadcast, I believe this is on Saturday mornings. Um, so today, if you get a chance to and you want to learn a little bit more about the farm, uh, you can head out. This year's uh, 7th Annual Stearns County Breakfast on the Farm will be held at Funk's Midway Dairy. Uh, this is located south of Melrose. Uh, there will be parking at the Melrose High School and a free uh, shuttle bus to bring you there. There will be no parking at the farm. Uh, the Kimball Lions, as usual, will be putting on a breakfast. Um, it's five dollars per person, and anybody five and under uh, can eat free. Uh, and then the event includes uh, children's activities, a farm animal petting tent, tours of the farm, uh, a visit from Princess Kay the Milky Way, and Dennis Fuchs. Yes, there will be Vikings cheerleaders there, so uh, make sure you get yourself a picture with them today, so we can put that on our website. Uh, there will be live uh, radio broadcast from KCLD and wild country on Saturday. So come rain or shine, hopefully we're going to have that shine and, and uh, get rid of this rain for a while. Um, we could use a little dry weather right now and maybe save some of this precipitation until we need it in August. So if you have any questions, concerns, uh, if you have some erosion problems that are at the forefront of everybody's mind right now, 
contact the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation District at 320-251-7800. And this is Nathan Hill again with your uh, conservation report for the week of June 7th, 2014. Have a great day.